So you are probably watching this video with hopes it helps you out due to you struggling with enemies that are just too hard to defeat or you don't want to go down a real tier due to missing the opportunity of that higher level loot. Well today guys with this video I will explain and showcase what you need to do to be way more efficient in progressing through this relentless campaign the Outriders game offers and get to that end game as this guide will help you earn easy high level loot. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. Now if you guys watch my streams, my day one streams of me trying to get through that campaign, you will have noticed sometime or another I was just coming up against enemies that were just too powerful for me. I won't lie to you guys, it was quite brutal. And all you get for keep trying is that world tier progression loss, watching that bar slowly go down, which again is painful in itself as you want to be leveling this thing up. The problem is guys, and it's quite easy to understand and I learned it pretty quickly, world tier 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, although it ain't that bad, this is due to the fact that most of us farmed the demo and had the best loot for that world tier 5, but world tier 6 and upwards is where it starts to get a little crazy, it's where things start getting a little too hard. The thing is, when you unlock another world tier and play on that world tier, you will notice instantly that your gear or you feel weak as you struggle that so much more and it quickly becomes a pain in the backside. This is because with the addition of world tiers enemies scale up quite a bit, way over your current gear level and what that current gear will drop at in that previous world tier. So going from a world tier 6 straight into a world tier 7 for the most part can be painful. It's because enemies are just so much higher in terms of level and in reality you need better gear to compete against them. So what I suggest guys which really works and is very efficient is as follows. If you are a world tier and you can't progress, if you've just gone up to a world tier and it's too hard, this is what you need to do. You need to get that gear to be able to compete and this is straightforward. You can spend your materials leveling up which will drain those materials I will add or you can just find a spot to farm which does not drop world tier down and will assist you in getting higher level loot quite frequently and it will 100% put you on a level in which you can progress through those world tiers. So what you need to do is you need to check your gear. Your gear needs to be at that level of which enemies will be or around that number enemies will be in a current world tier you are playing on. For instance, a world tier 7 enemies are a plus 4 on your current level. So if you are like me at level 19 then enemies will be coming in at a level 23. Quite the difference and that's why they're feeling so powerful. This is important to remember because the gear in which you will need and we will farm for which I'll show you in a quick second needs to be at around that level of the enemy. So where can you get that free easy fast loot weapons and armor which drops at this level to help you progress? Well that's simple guys. The OG chest farm works wonders here. If you don't know what that is it's basically an area you can keep loading into and grabbing free chests which drop constant loot. If you don't know about this this is how it's done from the lobby make sure you are on the highest world tier you have unlocked then select that select story point go to rift town and select the third story point down which is confront the altered at the tower once you've selected this confirm it and continue into the game from here follow the short route i take and grab these three chests once you've grabbed that loot you will notice it will be much higher most of the time than what you currently already have from here quit to the lobby again, go back to that story point, reset the same mission and load back in and continue the farm. Eventually the gear you will get here will build up that level in which you need to be and will allow you to progress further into those world tiers. Now you can do this every time you go up a world tier as it truly doesn't take that long but it's definitely beneficial in helping you get gear to be able to compete with those newly unlocked world tiers and the enemies that come with them especially if you're struggling. Remember also crafting and adding mods to help your current gear is very very important. Make sure you apply those mods and to be honest they ain't even expensive at all and because you will earn a ton of materials from these chests and dismantling loot you should be fine here guys. But yes I hope this helps you guys out who are struggling it really is that simple. When you progress into a newly unlocked world tier unless you've been seriously lucky with your loot drops or you've been spending materials leveling up your current gear there's a good chance that within that new world tier you've just gone into 
enemies will just feel like raid bosses. They will just absolutely obliterate you. This is because your current gear is too low to keep up. And unless you're rocking a crazy powerful build, which probably won't come into the later world tiers anyway, when you unlock more class points, playing and farming on that current world tier you're at, that newly acquired one, isn't going to be very efficient and you're going to probably spend most of the time just struggling with enemies like I was doing on stream. I realise that now looking back and actually farming chests and getting higher level loot and it seriously and I mean seriously helped me out guys it really has. So yes I hope this helps you guys out if it does leaving a like helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see daily outrageous videos and streams make sure you subscribe and if you never want to miss any of that good shiz turn those notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.